Hi Taurus, welcome to your August reading. Right off the bat, I just want to apologize for any like noises in the background. I'm filming this while there is construction and I just hope that you don't mind, you know, the noises. They don't last too long, okay? So this is the message for Taurus, okay? If your sun, I don't know, they like, I don't know, whatever. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in the sign of Taurus, these messages are for you. Thank you so much for clicking this reading. Um, if you are not new here and you watch me quite often, do feel free to hit the subscribe button because I know a lot of y'all watching are not even subscribed. Like, it's giving lack of support for me, okay? <laughs> no, but thank you so much for clicking this reading. Those of you who don't know me, I'm VX Prada. Um, yeah, super excited to get into your messages. Taurus, I have a lot to tell you. I did pull a few cards for the overall spiritual energy surrounding you, but um, clear audiently, I did have a few messages I wanted to share to you. The first thing is that you are guided to take a step back, and I wrote down my notes. I take a step back and reassess how you feel about something i feel as though you're very i'm not going to use the word stubborn because everyone uses that word to describe you towards but you just know the way that you want to go about something and there's something that you have your eye on it's like a bullseye you don't see anything other than this but i need to make sure that you're looking after yourself as you are trying to achieve this goal as you are pursuing this goal as you are working towards this goal because some of you may realize that um this isn't actually you may not be going about something the right way so there are adjustments that need to be made especially when it comes to how your body is feeling in regards to something uh, this could also be nutrition I did write down nutrition what goes into our bodies so it's kind of making me feel as though we're not prepared for the long day of head let's say for instance okay there's a lot of things that we can't do on an empty stomach for instance do keep in mind what you are putting into your body what you are accepting energetically and also what you're giving your energy to okay I feel so there's a need for us to be just a little bit more conscious this week oh sorry not this week this month when it comes to whatever we're giving our energy to okay um let's get into your um overall energy surrounding you okay we got stand your ground we have a victory and success i do feel so you get everything you wish for by the end of the month um however we got the intuition card and the fulfillment of wishes there is the work that needs to be done um, on an internal level right now your intuition is very clear right now it's telling you exactly where you need to be what you need to be doing please don't question it Taurus even if it doesn't have any sense to you trust this internal knowing that you have it's there for a reason and it will never stir you in the wrong direction okay you see how there's like a lot of things going on right now but the sun is still managing to come out and shine onto me as i'm telling you this message it's because things are meant to be things are coming in alignment you have to kind of like ignore the bs ignore all the outside energies ignore the negative thought patterns the pessimism ignore all of that okay and focus on your truest essence because you got your eyes on your goals you're going to be successful it's going to be a very fruitful month where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor just be aware of something we do have the temptation card okay beware of old habits coming back beware of your obsession with um control you will be tempted this month it's very important that you keep your eyes on the prize and your intuition will be steering you the right way now is not the time to be confusing intuition with paranoia as well very important okay <laughs> um but yeah let's get into what your tarot has to say for now i'm just gonna pull these cards see whatever comes up because like i've been telling everyone else in these readings uh for this month like i'm guided not to divide it between career finances and love i'm just pulling these cards and see whatever comes out okay if you want early access to all of my monthly readings and everything else that i post on um, youtube check out the patreon the link is in the description box shout out to the patreon family i love you guys so much gang gang um, and then if you want a personal reading, like a one-on-one -on -one reading, also the link is in the description box, okay? I'm doing um, emergency video readings this whole month, so please take advantage. The link for Hey Hero is also in the description box, okay? So yeah, let's, let's start it. And just surrounding Taurus, please, this August. The Leo energy got you feeling yourself. It's got you wanting to be very fiery, very passionate, wanting to be bold. And like, I get it. And I want you to embrace this. I want you to also step outside your comfort zone. I want you to take up space. I want you to feel yourself. But just make sure that you understand what your true motives are. Because I feel so sometimes, Taurus, we get so focused. Us fixed signs, we get so focused on our target that we kind of lose ourselves in the process. Make sure you don't lose yourself. Okay, so energy surrounding Taurus, please, this August. Ooh, one card already fell and it is the ace of wands yeah something feels as though you don't feel like doing it anymore the lack of motivation here lack of drive i'm gonna 
really sorry about the noise, guys. Ah. Ace of Wands. Queen of Wands. A lot of fire energy. Like I said, you are feeling the Leo energy in the air. Okay, It feels as though at first you're not really feeling it, you're not really motivated, but then it kind of creeps up on you. It's making you feel as though you want to bounce back from something that made you feel lost, something that made you feel uncertain, something that made you feel left out in the cold. So if, you, if we feel as though we've been done dirty, I feel so we're using this as fuel, as motivation to level up, okay? There's something here about like five months ago or five days ago, we were feeling very sad. And then we got the 10 of Cups, okay? I'm I'm seeing a lot of abundance surrounding your personal life, surrounding your family. I don't know if it's like you specifically or like your family members. Whoever you're sharing a household with also, I feel so they are getting like some abundance here, some fortune. Okay, so I'm getting good vibes, good energy overall. You have something to look forward to when you come home from work. Okay, it could also be a package being delivered. I'm getting like multiple small packages being delivered, random. Okay, we got the Four of Swords in reverse and then the Star card. A lot of you are um, taking care of like plants at home and also seeing some of you guys are like getting into astrology or getting back into it you're looking at the stars you're looking at your natal chart i'm also seeing mention here of creativity so it's like while we don't really feel inspired by our outside environment within us we have like this newfound inspiration and also this newfound wisdom i feel as though ideas are coming to you very quickly and you're really eager to be creative in some way there's an, a creative expression here that's coming but i feel as though you um aren't really being social at this time it feels like you're not really like in the mood to hang out with people i mean that's not new you're always like a homebody queen of swords knight of wands and then the eight of wands okay so it's making me feel so we quickly wanted to start something initiate something new something that was like very exciting for us and then it's like as quickly as it comes it also goes it feels as though as we're doing it as we're entertaining this person or this like maybe this fire sign or like whatever we're doing we just decide that we actually don't have the energy or the motivation to keep doing this so i feel so we're kind of like backtracking here i'm not sure why let me let me look at side um the bottom of the deck okay so we got the queen of wands we got the strength card a lot of leo energy and then the ten of pentacles and then the queen of pentacles yeah so what i'm saying here taurus is you need to get your organization together your organization skills i feel so you have way more resources than you even like understand especially when it comes to connections like there's mention here of the home they keep showing me the home uh, extended family as well like family members grandparents i feel as though um it's mentioning here that you are trying to build your wealth It's interesting here that you're trying to build your wealth. You're trying to overcome like a financial huddle, like hurdle, I mean. Okay, especially if you grew up like in poverty or you're just trying to like, it's mentioning here that you're trying to like overcome like general curses, uh, generational curses, whether it's like, you know, uh, pertaining to love, pertaining to marriage. I'm feeling as though it's mostly like financial. So like you're really focused on your career work at this time because you just know that you want to be great. You know that you want to be successful, even the most successful person in your family. Okay. I'm seeing mention here of us needing to be resilient with the strength card. Mention of us needing to remember our inner fire. And I'm seeing you having this confidence in this Leo season specifically. But now there is a need, Taurus, for us to stop giving so much importance to the materialistic part of our lives. You understand? Because we can't bring all of the material possessions to us to the grave so what i'm saying by this is work hard play hard do all that stuff but don't get lost in the chase don't get lost in the journey of it all okay there's a need for us to still focus on our physical body because i feel so right now you're so driven to like keep keep it pushing and keep moving on to the next thing like you just have so much drive you need to kind of take a step back and also take care of yourself also acknowledge the fact that you are a human in a human body and the human body requires rest it requires also like organization because i feel so you feel so driven that you're not really i feel so you can manage your time better and i also feel so you can find it you're, you can manage your finances a little better some of you guys have been so eager not to splurge at all that this is kind of ruining the vibe some of you also um, need to stop spending so much okay so it's, it's about finding the healthy medium be between the two but again success in the end and uh, listen to your intuition as you go along okay i'm seeing victory also i feel so something is very effortless you don't feel guided to overwork yourself when it comes to something if that's the case listen to that because i feel so you still get what you want in the end in terms of a victory okay i don't know if this is like graduation this is like a relationship you have you feel so you have to work so hard for you have, gotta work hard for someone to notice you no that's not true i was gonna call you virgo taurus that's not true 
you still take up enough space and like people are going to be giving you that recognition and if they're not giving you this recognition i see you giving it to yourself also i'm also seeing a lot of significance here something happening online something happening online it could be like online exposure that gives you potential um to look after your family um like you know or like your personal life like this mention here but it's like I'm, I'm seeing you writing something getting something off your chest online okay so there's mention here of like social media um uh I want to say spiritual I don't know if you're posting like spiritual content somewhere but like yeah like on an app of course I'm thinking about TikTok but um yeah Taurus I feel so like the world needs to hear your point of view the world needs to hear your gifts you have talents that you want to share and I feel so up until this point it's been feeling very draining because it just has not been meant to be so you're about to find your own path you're about to see why everything has happened and led you here I do see lack of like maybe it's some lack of fun some lack of socializing but Taurus I feel so I like your home life is feeling very secure I feel so a boring life isn't a bad life also so many sounds i'm sorry about that i know someone's gonna complain okay anyways let's get some abundance <laughs> let's get some angel messages for you so we got abundance because that's what you're heading towards okay I'm, I'm seeing the next 10 years like i'm seeing wealth okay like abundance that's gonna take you far like generations to come okay so i feel so you're building an empire or this idea comes to you very quickly on how to make money or how to solve a situation so definitely like listen okay so it's Taurus. that's another thing i know you want to move slow you want to be sure about stuff you're very cautious but like if, so, if an idea an opportunity or something comes to you very quickly don't hesitate to explore that because like i feel like we have like five seconds to like actually do something to press send to like actually make a post to make a website to um upload something i feel as though like the time is now when it comes to an idea that will come to you randomly so really focus on your intuition because your guys are trying to like really communicate something to you right now get some more angel messages um yeah i'm seeing virgo energy surrounding you i'm also seeing like some um aquarius energy surrounding you so this could be who you're dealing with um i will be doing a um earth signs love reading very soon so do keep an eye out for that um i'm posting it on patreon first and then i'll post it on my instagram which is at vx prada underscore okay what else just towards need to know oops Okay, we got the yes card, but let me just keep shuffling. See, this is what I mean about your guys wanting to tell you so many things. They say the situation will get better. Okay, so there's an issue that, I'm sorry, the lighting. Mm. There's, an, there's a situation here that will get better. They're saying that the situation will get better, okay? We got yes, exclamation point. So if you're wondering a yes or no question, the answer is yes, Taurus. Anything for you is what I'm seeing someone is saying this about you or they're feeling this about you like anything for you but this is the universe just seeing your soul how pure it is how deserving you are anything for you situation will get better we have compromise we have weight okay is there something that we need to wait on we have within the next few months okay so if you feel so like there's something that you need to wait on like intuitively or you're waiting on an answer from something confirmation is coming to you within the next few months okay let me see if i can see a time frame mm, i feel so honestly like it could come like as early as september i'm getting september or november for a uh, time frame for you guys and then we have the ideal moment okay i love this let me pull some um moonology cards and lighting in this you guys i'm sorry now you guys for taurus please what right, last messages last minute messages do we have for taurus okay so at the bottom deck you said you got you're very close to achieving your goals because you are period you got look at the bigger picture you and your loved ones are safe so again any like family matter or matter regarding loved ones it's all going to be just fine i feel so you don't need to stress about this anymore you and your loved ones are safe that's the new moon in cancer and then we got adjustments are required because i never lie to you taurus and this is the exact energy that i've been getting since we i love the sex so much okay i'm so sorry about the lighting also is it too late to make a focus anyways i'm guiding to end the reading here i wish you all the best um i'll see you guys over on patreon real soon 
for your love readings and on Instagram. And yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. It helps my algorithm. And I love you so much. Bye.